In 1917, the war to end all wars, World War I, was raging on in Europe and America was in the fight. Understanding that the losses sustained in this conflict would be immeasurable, the United States passed the Selective Service Act of 1917, known commonly today as the draft. It is why every American male to this day at the age of 18 is enrolled in the program. This was also a time in America where African Americans were segregated and treated very, very poorly by many communities throughout the country. It was at this time the formation of the 369th Regiment of the New York National Guard began, who would become known as the Harlem Hellfighters. What's up, guys? My name is Max. I'm a Navy veteran, almost 14 years in the Navy and five deployments, two to Afghanistan and one to Iraq and two on ships. Now I host the Scuttlebutt Show, all about military and veteran content. If you're into that, hit the subscribe button. Let's get into the video. African-Americans were eager to get involved with the military, believing it would bring about cultural change in America and end racism and segregation. So when the 369th, an all-black unit, was formed, many men volunteered to join. Unfortunately, from the beginning, these soldiers were up against harsh criticism and poor treatment. They were given inadequate training and menial tasks for quite some time until they were eventually loaned to the French to participate in what would become some of the most fierce combat of the war. Even this act was fraught with racism and prejudice. American leadership gave out pamphlets claiming the troops were more likely to rape and commit crimes against civilians than white soldiers and even advised the French to not treat them well because they might begin to feel like they are equal to white men. In spite of this, the French welcomed the support of the Hellfighters and were far less concerned about the color of their skin than the Americans were. They gave them equipment and training and fought alongside them for the better part of a year. One well-known tale of the heroics of the Harlem Hellfighters is the story of Private Henry Johnson. While on watch at a listening post in the Argonne Forest on May 14, 1918, his position came under attack from German troops. The only other soldier with him, Needham Roberts, was wounded and unable to fight. Johnson returned fire against the Germans until his weapon jammed, at which time he began using it as a club and killed four Germans and forced the others to retreat, all while being badly wounded 21 times. He single-handedly defended the position and saved Roberts' life in the process. For his actions, the military reluctantly awarded him the Legion of Merit Medal, and only in 2015, President Obama upgraded his award to the Medal of Honor, which he rightly deserved. After the war, Johnson was able to tour and speak on behalf of the Hellfighters and the mistreatment of black troops that they experienced overseas. Tragically, Henry Johnson died on July 1st, 1929 of myocarditis. Another interesting fact about the 369th is their regiment band was known as one of the most popular and skilled in the entire military. The Harlem Hellfighters suffered 1,500 casualties in World War One. The highest of any U.S. regiment, only to come home and find that the country they fought for would turn its back on them. It would be another 50 years before the end of segregation and the Civil Rights Act passes and begins the end of unequal treatment for African Americans, and in that time, the 369th would see combat again in World War II. Although restructured and reassigned, they still remained segregated. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button for more military news, gaming, commentary, interviews, and more. Check out the links in the description to find out how to support the channel, including Patreon. If you join as an elite tier patron on your second month of membership, I'll send you a free Scuttlebutt Patreon exclusive t-shirt only available through Patreon. I look forward to talking to you all soon. I'm out for now. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up in the corner here and check out this next video. If you want, in the description down below, there's links where you can get Scuttlebutt Show merch and find out how you can support the channel. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to talking to you guys very soon.